Moving in, owls, and welcome back to the Sandman. We are continuing on with it. We are going to be going to look for Sophie's dad. Um, and in the last video, we also realized that David is acting pretty strange. And maybe we'll find out in today's video. Maybe we won't. We'll have to find out. Again, it is pre-recorded, and I'm now doing the intro right now. That's why the sun is up and I look different than what you're going to be seeing in the video. It's because I thought there were sections where it was going to stop, and then I can be like, oh, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow, blah, 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 and end the video, but it never had sections where it ended, so I ended up having, I ended up recording a lot and I realized how long it was going to be so I decided that I was going to cut it up and post separate videos so I have to do intros like this. Anyways, let's hop in, shall we? Somehow I knew her, where her father worked before like of course, I like ran into that building a couple times. Employee of the month, Chuck Failure. Wear glasses on this guy. Sorry, but good work doesn't excuse the de degree of lameness. A card reader. This door won't open without a pass. I don't have one of those. It's an automatic door. It won't open. So... Where do I get one? Do you have one at your house? Like, for some reason, I thought her dad was a doctor. Wiping an employee pass will open the door. Yeah. But where do I get one? Okay, so I came down these stairs and over there is the guy from the painting. I'm pretty sure he looks like him. But I can't get over there and I need a code. So I need to look around for a code. Okay, we are in. I found it by a phone. Resting peacefully. This guy is from dad's work, which must mean he has a pass. Here we go, employee pass. Sorry, Mr. Chuck. I'll just be borrowing this indefinitely. Got an employee pass. What's on this side? Nothing, okay. Now back to her dad's work. Okay, we are in. Yay! Um, I guess... Oh, he's a scientist? Some documents. For security purposes, all rooms auto lock at 10 p.m. They cannot be entered from outside. Those who remain past 10 must have must make an advance request for a time to keep the locks open. Most of these rooms are locked. Asset management where dad works is open. I don't know how to open the locks, so I'll just check the open rooms from now, for now. Sounds good to me. Okay, it's locked. 
elevator is stuck. Of course, you gotta take the stairs. I <sighs> can't be lazy. Okie dokie. This one's on. There's only one on. It's a photo of me. This must be Dad's desk. And the computer is still on. He must be in there somewhere. Maybe the meeting room? Aw, she looks so happy. How can you throw yourself into your work and leave your daughter at home all alone? Sheesh. What old picture to keep around. This must be from when I was in kindergarten. Papa, Papa, hey, hey, I drew a picture at school today. It's Papa and Sophie. Want to see? I see. I'd love to see it. But, sorry, Papa is a little tired. Can you show me tomorrow? You got it. Also, today I went looking for... Chupa Carba? Crowbar? What? Chupa... Some kind of candy, I guess, with Reagan and her friends. But we didn't find any. I told teacher and she said only get live in the south. Too bad. Okay, so there are bugs. So I want to go south and look for... I don't know that... Chupacobras. You... You come with me too, okay, Papa? Sorry, Sophie. Papa's really busy with work. We can't go on vacation for a while. No, I want to go tomorrow. Come with me, Papa. We'll catch Chupacabras together. I don't know. Alright, Sophie. We can go looking this weekend. Can you wait till then? Hooray! I can't wait. Papa, did you drink some juice? I want juice too. Hmm? No, I didn't drink any juice. Nuh-uh. You've got tomato sauce on your mouth. Huh? <coughs> it's blood. Oh no. Her dad's sick. And you know I was opposed to it in the first place. Juggling a child with that sternest work, sternest work. What a stubborn brother, I tell you. Wants to honor my sister-in-law. So what? No point in it if you collapse from overwork. She needs to be handed off to somebody too true i've got a i've got two kids already so i can't take her maybe i should recommend him to a place auntie sophie i didn't see you there what happened what happened with papa does his tummy hurt <sighs> Ah, uh, Sophie, your papa pushed himself a little too hard. So, yes, his tummy hurts. Is papa gonna die, like mama? Why, surely not. If you be a good girl, Sophie, I'm sure your papa will be better, will get better soon. Really? Yes, of course. Okay, Sophie? Be a good girl, be a good kid, and don't worry your papa. Papa. I'm sorry, Papa. I got all selfish and made you worry. And I made your tummy hurt. I, do, I won't be selfish anymore. Nuh-uh. I won't ask for ice cream before bed. I'll eat my broccoli and liver and onion. Mm. I like broccoli, but liver and onion? Mm. And I won't cry when you're not there. 
I'll learn to sleep on my own at night. So, so please get better soon, Papa. Hi, Power Girl. I hope he is okay. I should find him quickly. Papa? Papa, wh what is it? S Sophie? Wh why are you here? Sophie, run away! It's dangerous here! It's coming! Huh? Wh what What's coming? came out that freaking door and got me. Really? Really, game? You're fucking me that hard? Really? A dream. This has to be a dream. I'm having an awful nightmare. Because I can't explain it. Black shadows, weird soldiers, a fire breathing dragon. Let me wake up. I don't even want to sleep. This is the kind of dream I'll have. And if I can't wake up, then help. Please, somebody help. David, help. Something on the ground. Is this one of my teeth? It fell out when I was blocked, blown back. Got a long, loose tooth. Ooh. David's not here yet. Was that a horse? Was something there it's unlocked go in
fly? No. No, why? That, that can't be! Oh, Sophie. Did you find your father, Sophie? I did. But he's gone. Gone? What do you mean? You got separated? Something like that. I see. Sorry. Couldn't find your friends. I wonder where they could be. I searched the town over again, but I haven't found anyone awake. No choice but to look harder, I guess. Let's go, Sophie. We have to find your father and friends. Just who are you? Huh? What do you mean, Sophie? And why this all of a sudden? Who am I? David, of course. Liar! Because... Because David is in that apartment. He's asleep. So who are you? Not seeing what you mean here. I'm me. Don't go asking me who I am. Sheesh. First of all, you say I was sleeping over there? Let's say it's true. Why wouldn't that one be the fake? Because he's not. Because he already lied to me. The only... The... That only tells me I can't trust you. Lied? What lie? What did I lie? Stay away. Don't get any closer. Wait, how did he... When did he lie? Who the hell are you? Why... Why do you look like David? <laughs> oh boy. Looks like you got me. Jeez. Wasn't my fa fault, at least. I'm sure it was his interference. Sheesh. What a pain in the neck. Did you... Did you do this? Did you put the town to sleep? Wasn't me. It was the Sandman. Sandman? Wait, so the sleeping woman was Shirley. And the reason why he doesn't want to go out and look for anyone is because he's not David. I knew he was weird. I'm like, why is he not worried about his friend? Or his friend's wife. Or his girlfriend. So I knew something was up. S Sandman? You mean that fairy who? Yeah. You know him, don't you? Use, 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 uses sleep sand to put humans to sleep. Well, he put all the humans in the world to sleep forever. Do you think I'm stupid? The salmon put the whole world to sleep as if fairies actually exist. Oh, now you don't believe it. After seeing shadows, soldiers, fire-breathing dragons. H how do you know all about the dragon? I didn't tell you that yet. Because that was me. Excuse Excuse me? Because that was me. What? You mean, you've been doing all of this? Yeah, that's it. I'm Lullaby, one of Sandman's creations. Lullaby. That's cute. Lullaby? Sandman 
decided to put everyone into internal sleep. He made special sleepings and different from his usual. He stopped time and scattered the sand worldwide. The humans fell asleep while time was stopped, but not everyone. There were people like you. I guess you call them insomniacs? So there are others awake? Yeah. Here and there around the world. So the Sandman brew up a plan for them and he made me and he made me lullaby. The ones who can't sleep are uneasy, angry, impatient. How do you put those people to sleep, you know? Clear up those feelings, erase their worries, grant their desires, satisfy them. That's what my job is. If someone can't sleep out of worry about their work, I sing them a lullaby of a successful project. A woman vexed by romance, a lullaby of hooking up. <laughs> Children in places of war, terrified of gunshots, I sing them a lullaby that the war is over. Then they can all sleep peacefully. H hold it right there. Then that makes all of the stuff I've seen my, lu my lullaby for you, Sophie. No way. What kind of lullaby is that? I wouldn't be put at ease by that. That- that's the stuff of nightmares! You shouldn't be more- you should be more honest with yourself, Sophie. Didn't you feel such disdain for your friend, saying she was worried, yet never acting on it? Didn't you want her to be commanded as a liar? Didn't you want revenge on the girl who was once a close friend but now bullies you? Didn't you want her to be executed in front of everyone? Stop it! Didn't you want the company that took your father from you to go up in flames so that he could pay attention to you? Stop it! Oh, Sophie, you should have just not done anything. Just watch them suffer as you wished. If you had by now, you would have been able to sleep peacefully. Where's the Sandman? Why do you ask? I'm going to stop him. Putting everyone to sleep is no joke. I'm not going to let him do that. Take my hand, Sophie. What? You want to go where the Sandman is, yes? I'll take him- I'll take you there. Really? You do realize I want to stop him. Aren't you... on his side? I can't go against your wishes. It's my job to grant them. Aw, I like a lullaby. But can you please not be David? Can you change into another hot guy? <laughs> Are you scared? Of course not. Take me to the Sandman. Whoa, purple, glittery, sunshine. Okay, my night owls, that is where I'm going to leave today's video. We are on our way to go see the Sandman and stop him and wake everyone up from their slumber. And I was right. David was not who he said he was. Like, I somehow, I think it was like because he didn't go and check on anyone. He was trying to help Sophia, which I, I'm... I think David would be the same, like, he would help her because it's David, but I felt like he should, he would have also, like, been like, oh yeah, I gotta go find my friend, I gotta go find my friend's 
wife I gotta find my girlfriend see if everyone's okay or so, like I don't know like I just feel like it like something was off with David and now we found out it was not David at all it's lullaby I want him to change into a different person cause like he's not David he's the creature that the Sandman made but yeah Next episode, we are going to go find the Sandman, and we'll find out what his problem is, and why he put everyone to sleep, and why he did what he did. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see all you beautiful night owls in the next video. Goodbye!